Hi, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about the appendicular and axial skeletons. So the entire skeleton is divided into the appendicular and axial skeletons. We have 206 bones total, officially. Uh, we actually have more than that because we have uh, multiple sesamoid bones in the hands and feet uh, that are a little bit different from person to person. Uh, so we don't count those in our, um, in our bone count when we talk about our 206. So 206 are the number of bones that we all consistently have. Um, and so those 206 are divided into the appendicular and axial skeletons. Now, I'm sorry, I know the picture is a little bit covered here by my video, um, but the white part is axial and the blue part is the appendicular skeleton. Uh, you might have to look at this PowerPoint you know, later on to see the whole picture if you're unclear here. Uh, the appendicular skeleton includes 126 bones and those are all the bones of the extremities. So appendicular as an appendage. And then the axial skeleton has 80 bones and includes all of the bones that make up the trunk and head and neck. Uh, so kind of the axiom or the midline of the body. Now, something that people usually get mixed up about are whether the shoulder and hip girdles are appendicular or axial. So I wanna make sure that that's crystal clear. Uh, the, by shoulder girdle, I'm referring to the scapula and clavicle, and by hip girdle, I'm talking about the pelvis. Those are all considered part of the appendages. So the pelvis is considered part of the lower extremity, therefore it's appendicular. The scapula and clavicle are considered part of the upper extremities, therefore they're appendicular. Um, the sternum is part of the thorax, it's part of the midline of the body, so it's axial. Okay, so um, that pretty much all the rest is really straightforward, it's really obvious. If they're bones of the extremities, they're appendicular. If it's bones of the center of the body, it's axial. But just make sure you know scapula, clavicle, and pelvis, those are all bones of the appendicular skeleton because they're considered to be part of the appendages. Okay, thank you.